Hi everyone. Seth Alchemist here. First of all, I would like to thank you for your subscriptions, for your likes, for your comments. It truly means a lot to me. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. Today is a tarot reading. It's a collective reading. It's going to be a message from your higher self. Remember, if you want a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one reading, you can only find it at cephalchemist.com. Link in the description box below. It's the only place where I offer my services. I'm going to use this beautiful tarot deck to channel the message from your higher self. Your higher self is your highest version. It's your golden state. It's your philosopher's stone. It exists out there, but it exists in a higher dimension, in a better dimension, and you're connected to it. It's you, and you are it, and it is you. But you're separated at the moment. Sometimes you merge, sometimes you become the same person, and sometimes you're not the same person. And this higher self is when you're inspired, when you have these intuitions, when you feel like you want to do something amazing and you do it. And sometimes you feel like you're in your element and everything feels amazing and you kill it when either at your work or, at, you know, at school or at your job or in anything you do, any endeavor you do, and you feel like you're having an amazing day and you're at your highest power. That means... You're fully connected to your higher self. That means you're one with your higher self. That means you're acting through your higher self. Your higher self that has the ability to see what's good for you, the better choices for you, the best path for you. Your higher self has that ability. It's more connected to the spirit realm. It exists in the spirit realm. It has access to, it, to the Akashic Records. It knows what you are meant to do. And when you're, in your, when you're fully connected to your higher self, then you always make the right choices, the right decisions. You know what's good for you. So what does your higher self want to tell you right now? I'm going to channel it through tarot. Let's get right to it. Ches ich anurelek im Mandos ich arrein. Interesting. First card that came up was the Eight of Pentacles. And then we had the uh, Queen of Cups reversed and the Lovers. Major Arcana upright. Your higher self is telling you that. The first card that came up here, we have abundance. We have infinite abundance. It's eight. It's pentacles. It's money. Here, I sense it's about money. It's telling you that um, you preoccupy in yourself right now with money, with making money. It's kind of preventing you from thinking about other things that are also important. Because life is not always about money. It's not every, Not everything is about money and making money all the time sometimes you need to take care of your emotions of love the queen of cups and the lovers so this you being preoccupied with money with making money with success and financial success it's making you ignore your emotions love because the the lovers here is upright this represents relationships. It could be love for something else that you have. But this queen of cups reversed here means that if you don't pay attention and if uh, to your emotions, to your love life, to your love life, you might um, get to a point where this queen of cups, I feel like here this queen of cups is someone important in your life, but it's reversed you might lose connection with this person. You might not have that lover's connection that you've had before with, with this person. And it could be either male or female. For, for here, um, spirit is saying, your higher self through spirit is saying, this energy is could be either male or female, even though it's queen uh, of cups reversed. 
So you need to pay attention. You might be a person that's very busy at work, that's always focusing on how to make money, that's having two, three jobs so you can feed your family, so you can take care of your kids. I understand that. But your higher self is saying, don't forget love. Loving your partner, loving your kids, loving your family. Don't forget, don't forget that. It's very important too. Let's see what else spirit wants you to know through your higher self. Again, we have pentacles this time. And it's ten of pentacles. Again, it's money, and it's this time it's ten of pentacles. Earlier it was eight, now it's ten of pentacles. Let, let, spirit, let's elaborate, please. Let's hold on. The bottom of the deck. I just want to show the bottom of the deck, and then these other cards that I have here. The full reversed. Full reversed, and. We had the Eight of Pentacles, and then we, it was followed by the Two of Swords and the Ace of Wands. I'm going to show also the, the full reverse here. Spirit is saying that you focusing on this money, focusing on financial success and abundance, will get you this money because this one is upright. Earlier, the Eight of Pentacles was also upright. It's going to get you this money. You're going to get it. You're going to feel this abundance. You're going to attain it. But what about your peace? What about your contentment? Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. So you don't lose if you don't want to lose these lo the, the lovers here. Focusing on money makes you a fool. And this fool here is in the sense of not making wise decisions, which might cost you your love. So, Spirit here is confirming the fact that this money thing that you're working for, that you want to attain, you will get it. But when you get it, or through the process of getting it, don't be a fool. Know your priorities. Know your choices. Give some time. That's why here it's two. It's duality. Or it's polarity. Or it's two different things. Yes, the two of swords here. We have one side. Yes, you want to take care of your family and your life. You want to have the money. Good. But on the other side, you need to also... Take care of your emotions, of your love life, of the people that mean a lot to you. Show them appreciation. Uh, tell them that you love them. Spend time with them. Go out for dates with them. Take your kids out uh, in nature and have fun with them and take them to places and restaurants and make them feel happy. Don't ignore that, that other side that makes you alive. Don't ignore it. Don't be a fool. That's what Spirit is saying. Because they, these people in your life that are very important, they're asking you for a helping hand. See the helping hand here, please? Here it's like, please, help, please. It's the Ace of Wands. Please see this hand? But be careful. They, they need you. They want your love. They want your attention. So make sure you give them that love and attention. The same way you give so much attention to making money. So let's see what else your higher self wants you to know here. This is a very, very wise message because it's coming directly from your higher self. So everything that I've said so far is actually on point. Because it just, something about this reading that feels right, it feels just perfect. All right, we have the Six of Wands reversed. Again, the Four of Wands reversed. <laughs> you <laughs> and <laughs> the, 
the seven of wands reversed. Like, I kid you not, like, uh, listen. Oh, and the bottom of the deck, let me show you the bottom of the deck. Let me, show you. <laughs> let me show you the bottom of the deck, because I think I'm going to close the reading with this. The queen of wands. I think this is one of the rarest readings I've had this kind of alignment in the cards. It's one of the rarest. I've never had some... This is spooky. What are the odds to get wands, 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 and then wands at the bottom of the deck? Let me decipher this. This is crazy. We started with... Uh, which one did we start with? We started with uh, six of wands, reversed. Four of wands, reversed. And then... Seven of Wands, Reverse, and the Queen of Wands. Here, your higher self is saying, so we have six and seven and four in the middle. Again, Queen, because earlier it was a Queen, if you uh, remember in the beginning of the reading, it was a Queen of Cups, reversed. And now it's the Queen of Wands, upright. So here, Spirit is saying, this fire that you're having with this queen or king, that this this fire that this queen is was giving you and has been giving you, it's turning off. It's turning off. All the wands are reversed. All this power, all this energy, all this, all this beauty that was happening, it's going away. It's not gonna be part of your life anymore if you keep being a fool if you don't make the wise and right decisions. The fire is going to disappear. Especially in this reading, this is how I'm reading it. This could mean, uh, it means strength, it means, you know, uh, the force that you've been having. Because in the beginning of the reading, just to connect the dots, it was the lovers. Meaning spirit, spirit is saying that this whole thing that you've been having was triggered by your love for this relationship or for your family or a certain situation. This was the beginning of everything. And this love is fiery. But now, the flame is turning off. And that's why this queen or this king, are they gonna end up by themselves? They're gonna be by themselves. They're by themselves here. There's nobody else with them. So spirit is just telling you, please, your higher self wants you to focus on your love life. It's equally as important as money and success. Because all the fire you've been having in your life. And this is positive fire. This fiery energy that comes from, uh, that, come, that came from love. That was generated by this person in your life. It could be your lover again, or it could be your kids or whoever. That is, you know, you know what I'm who I'm talking about. This fire is going away. And you don't want it to go away from your life. Because when you're left with only money, the money that you've been wanting to do, when you're only left with that, it's not going to mean anything. It's not important. Who are you going to share that money with? How are you going to enjoy it? And spirit... Wants me to stop here. Your higher self is saying to just be careful. To take care of your lo love life. Of the people who are around you. The people who deserve your love. Who deserve your attention. Spend time with them. Talk to them. Tell them how you feel. Tell them that you love them. Tell them that you're grateful. That they're in your life. And this is what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Schist roch anchost rimach in des kiralon. Schust!